At the end of the day, I ask myself one question, can I take one more step? And usually the answer is yes. So if you can answer that question and not take another step, that is real failure. That is real quitting. A lot of people can take one more step, but they choose not to. I don't know if you can take two steps. You got to answer that question after you take the first step. But I can always take one more step. So if I choose not to, that's on me. But I got to live with that. Most people think I'm just some grand animal who runs and yells and just says fuck and motherfuck all the time. And that's nowhere near the truth. That's maybe what they see in a one minute video. And that's what we believe. But there's a lot of thought behind a person being a born loser, becoming who I am today. You don't just wake up and just rocky the shit. You gotta wake up and think about, you know, there's a process to getting better. And that process is never finished. I built Goggins from the ground up. I was born David Goggins. David Goggins wasn't good enough. He was a scared, bullied, abused kid who struggled in life. That kid, whenever something got tough, no matter how hard I trained, no matter how ready I was, whenever something got tough for me, David Goggins, the real David Goggins, would come out and he would quit. So I realized this over a period of time. So I had to build Goggins. And in that process, I had to go back to that mental lab. And that mental lab is at scratch. That mental lab is in that trained humility. And so that's where I get better. I get better when I'm digging holes in the ground, when I'm waking up early knowing I don't have to do these things. That's where I get better. What do you think most people get wrong about motivation? They think it's a permanent fix. They think it's something that, that is a constant. They think that maybe once I get it, I'm going to hold on to it. Nothing is permanent. And a lot of times you have to learn to perform without motivation. And that's what people think. They think I need to have this motivation to work out, to study, to be better. So if they don't have it, they just don't fucking do it. And that's where you fail. You have to learn to train your mind well beyond motivation. If you have motivation, that's great. That's some kindling to the fire. All it takes is a little bit of fucking spark. You can burn a whole forest up. But motivation, you have to learn to exist without it. You have to learn to be, you have to be your best self when you're least motivated. And that's the tricky part about all that shit. Motivation is just a word. You have to have these different things in your mind on where you want to go and know that motivation is not going to get me there. Because I'm not going to always be motivated. And discipline is good too. But without a clear headspace, there's no discipline. Once your brain is crowded, there's no discipline. You may have it sometimes when it fits in that crowded garage of your mind, but you don't have the consistency that you need to have with that discipline. Is you're organizing your mind so you can put that discipline. So a lot of people talk about discipline. Okay, great. Why do you fall off the fucking wagon? Why can't I continue with this routine? Going to the gym, being better, waking up early, eating the right foods. It's because maybe it's your kids, maybe it's your wife, maybe it's your job. And it's all just stuffed in your fucking brain. So where am I going to put discipline in that mind if I can't find other shit? You got to be able to find all these different things in your mind. Oh, I can put discipline right there. I can put consistency right there. I can put all these things right there in that spot. And people don't get that. Your mind has to always be clear. That's why, I mo that's why I meditate two hours every single night. Because I refresh, I reorganize the garage, which is my mind, every night. You have to wake up and you have to give yourself belief. You have to give yourself confidence. So that, it starts with that run. That is proof, motherfucker. So whenever you think... Whenever you think you can't, confidence comes from the thing that you built. You must build belief. A lot of people sit back and they dream about being a sports figure or dream about being a SEAL or dream about being an astronaut. And all it is is a motherfucking dream. They don't put the work behind the dream. That dream has become their fucking master. 
when you become the master of your fucking dream is when you say, I want to go be a Navy SEAL. And you say, okay, I'm going to lose 106 pounds in less than three fucking months. The dream was the one thing I thought about and the dream was now gone. Now, what comes in, the dream goes away and the fucking laundry list of fucking details and tasks come up. Got to do this, got to do this, got to do this, got to do this. That's when you become the master of your dream. Until you're able to really put yourself into that dream, but don't make dreams your master, that's where you truly become what you're destined to become. The purpose is always there. The purpose never leaves us because the very purpose is you. You are always the purpose. So if you wake up in the morning and you don't want to do something, you don't care enough about yourself. And that's what you need to really research is, man, why am I not doing this for myself? Because that is, that is the number one purpose in life is to better oneself. So this is how you level up. That's how you level up. Because I know there's so many people that have the ability and just refuse to get off that couch. Refuse to study a few more hours. Refuse to go deeper, to go further. And that's where I gain the advantage. It's so easy to be great nowadays, my friend, because most people are weak. Most people don't want to go to that extra mile. Most people don't want to find that extra because it sucks. And now this is what happens. This is on the other side of overcoming. It becomes, you become very, very powerful when you overcome yourself. All those things you once cowered from, you were afraid of, when you face them eye to eye every day, you now become a person who has a great podcast because you have to want it. You have to want to be better. And it starts off with you have to have pride in yourself. You, you have to have pride in yourself. You have to have, there's something about you, whether it's your last name, whether it's just the smallest thing. You have to be proud of yourself. And if you have no pride in yourself, I can't give it to you. That is why if people can make up a mission statement, an ethos in which they want to live by, and every morning you wake up, you hold yourself accountable to that mission, not a company's your own. Make up your own mission statement. What do you want to be in life? And once you do that, now you can work with somebody to get better. You can work with yourself to get better. But until you know what you want to stand for, you will always just be sitting down. You'll never stand for anything.